My name is Erin. I'm one of the co-founders of Fabricate, and today I'm going to show you how to remove your print head from your Ultimaker 3 or Ultimaker 3 Extended, and how to reinstall it. Before we begin, please make sure to unplug your Ultimaker 3 or Ultimaker 3 Extended printer. You're going to need a 2mm hex head screwdriver in order to complete this repair. We're going to remove the print head from the printer. Now to start, you're going to need to unscrew the two screws at the rear of the print head. Go ahead and set these aside. Next, we're going to remove the clamp clips from underneath the collets. Just slide them forward. Be careful not to drop them. <laughs> now, apply downward pressure to the collet and pull up on the Bowden tube. Do the same thing to the other Bowden tube. Downward pressure and up. Next, we'll go ahead and take the screwdriver and stick it in the hole at the back of the print head. This will let you remove that cover. All right, I've moved the print head to the side to make this a little easier to see. So we're going to fold back the cable a bit, and you see that small white rectangular piece? You're going to get your screwdriver underneath it and apply pressure to the side to help it release the clamp, because that clip is what's holding it in place. There you go. Next, we have to remove the sliding blocks. I like to start with the Y shaft. Tilt the rear sliding block forward so that you can release the Y shaft. Do the same thing with the front sliding block and pull the whole print head shaft forward out through the front of the printer. Next, you're going to do the same process on the left and right sliding blocks. And go ahead and turn the print head slightly diagonal to pull it off. We're going to go ahead and install the print head back in the printer now. So you want the longer of your two print head shafts. This will be the X shaft. You're going to go ahead and put that straight through the print head. Right. Turn it a little bit diagonally so that you can go ahead and get the print head shaft in there between the belts and rest it on top of your sliding blocks on the left and right. Now we're going to go ahead and make sure that the print head shaft is far enough to the left otherwise it won't trigger the end stop. I like to use about a finger's nails width between the left side of the print head shaft and the wall. It's important to make sure the sliding block and print head shaft are perpendicular. If it's tilted, it will cause problems later. Now do the one on the left. The print head shaft should always make a satisfying click when seating into the sliding block. Now we'll slide your Y shaft in the front panel between the two halves of the belt, skewer it through the print head, and seat it in the sliding blocks. For the rear block, you want to make sure that the print head shaft rear is aligned with the back of the block. If you put it too far back, it'll crash into the Z shafts. Click it in place. Now go ahead, click the front in place. Again, make sure the shafts are perpendicular with the blocks. A tilted block will come loose later. Now reinsert your Bowden tubes. Take your clamp clips. We're going to go ahead and slide those underneath the collet. If you ever lose your clamp clips, it's very easy to print more. There they go. All right now we'll go ahead and reseat the print head cable. So, in general, you should be able to go ahead and just press it back down into place. If you're not sure that it quite clicked back into place, you can always take your screwdriver and apply a little pressure to each side of the large plastic connector and make sure that it's seated. It should click into place. Take the little cover, make sure to feed the tabs underneath. That should slide right back into place. Now all we need to do is go ahead and screw the print head screws back in. And there you go.